Hi, friends. I just received a question from one of our users, and they're saying, Sergey, I did the vocal range test, and I got results. I did pitch accuracy test. I read an article that is saying which vocal range belongs to which voice type, and I still do not understand what is my voice type. This is a common concern that I will try to address here. Well, when we think about voice type, it's important to understand why, why are we asking that question? What do we want to know? And one obvious thing might be, is that we want to sing a particular part in a particular song, or we're preparing for an audition and that's a part in a choir or in an ensemble. Each voice type has the lowest and the highest note. And all the notes between are the range of that voice type. And if your lowest note is lower than that one, and if your highest note is higher than that one, then that means that you can go and sing the part for a choir for that voice type. It doesn't mean necessarily that your natural voice type is this, right? So maybe your natural voice is a bass, but then there is a part that was meant for a baritone in a particular musical. And there is a range of a baritone that is needed there. And maybe those high notes of baritone are also accessible for you as a bass. And you can go and sing that. That doesn't make you baritone, but you can sing baritone parts. So note it. If the notes are of that voice type are within our range, we can take parts. We can audition. We can sing songs that belong to that voice. Now, a little bit more complicated question. What is your natural voice type? And this is more speaking about the capabilities of your body that are available for you, but maybe you didn't yet learn how to use your body. Maybe you didn't discover that yet. And you need to practice to get used to your body and learn how to produce those notes from that range. A good indication to figure out what that might be is practicing and recording what you can do and getting a picture, an idea of the note spread that you are getting from your practice and how you feel when you are singing particular notes. On our website, we have tracking tools that show you what notes you hit or do not hit. And this is available in the statistics with my screen that you can see, right? So this is from one of our users. I'm not gonna say whom some information on how they were performing. And on this chart, we can clearly see that they sing within this range between F sharp two and D five closer to somewhere around A sharp four, they start losing control over their tonality. What does it mean? It means that at this point, this is like not really accessible for that person, but can they go that high? Yeah, probably with training they can. And at this point. Effective range that they have is probably closer to somewhere like between E3 and A sharp four. And this is what they have to aim for when they're choosing songs. Can they learn to sing lower? Yes, they can. They can probably go as low as F sharp two. Can they go learn to sing higher? Definitely also maybe higher than D5. What can we say about this voice type, right? We can start looking at the lower tones and see that in general, the person is able to produce low sounds, right? That they're getting to F sharp too. And we know that like, it's much harder to train to learn low than to train to learn high. And if in general, even if you're out of tune, but you can do those low notes, it means that your body is able to do so. So this is a very good indication. What is the lowest part where even if you're out of tune, you feel comfortable around those notes. Is probably the lower boundary of your natural vocal range and voice type. So for that person, right? If we start saying around F sharp two, G sharp two, that's like probably a baritone. I cannot say hundred percent without talking to a person and hearing them because they know how they feel when they do those sounds. But that's what this picture tell is telling me. So if you want to figure out for yourself, this is what you need to do. This regarding if you can hold the note or not hold the note, if your body feels naturally okay producing that kind of low sound or that kind of high sound. 
that will determine the natural range where your body feels okay. You try going low, low, low until you feel like, okay, only air comes out, no sound. I cannot resonate. That's your lower boundary. Naturally, it doesn't matter if you are in tune or not. What's like the quality of that sound, if you like how it sounds or not, that's where your lower part of your natural voice is. And this is probably where your natural voice type starts. And for the highest part, it's the same, right? You might not know yet how to use the high part, but you go higher and higher and higher. And you see, you are probably able to get there at some point, like you definitely going to discover your break, right? Your voice break, where you get out of your lower register and probably closer to that point somewhere, you're going to start feeling that like, this is already not natural to your body. It's not just about you being untrained. It's about you getting beyond the boundaries of your body. And if you're not trained, it's hard to find that part. You probably need a teacher or a person sitting next to you, helping you, guiding you through the feelings, because feelings are very hard to measure. We cannot give you a test to measure your feelings, unfortunately, how it works. If you want to learn more about the terminology behind the things I'm saying, if you want to see the chart, what is the lowest and highest note, depending on the voice type that matches to a particular range. If you want to learn what this like mixed voice, head voice, vocal break thing, things mean, then you co can open the link that I'm going to attach to this video that leads to one of our lessons in our free course for the beginners. And you can read all of these things. Hopefully it will structure the material better in your head. I encourage you still to take vocal range test just to have an idea of where you are right now and what you can sing right now, because that's practically what's important and what matters. And uh, practicing pitch training, if you feel you need help with the tonality, the more you go, the more data you will collect, you will be able to see how your voice changes over time. And you will be able to develop those parts of your voice that you cannot use right now. Enjoy.